now i am going to discuss about the lacrimal words you see this is the lacrimal bone these are small most fragile plates of bone each bone looks like a finger nail and these are the smallest of all cranial bones now each lacrimal bone has four borders and two surfaces this is the anterior border this border articulates with the posterior border of the frontal fossa maxilla you see in the articulated skull this is the lacrimal bone and this is the anterior border of the lacrimal bone on the right side and this anterior border articulates with the posterior border of the frontal fossa of maxilla now this is the posterior border you see this is the posterior border this posterior border articulates with the anterior border of the orbital plate of the ethmoid bone you see in the articulated skull this is the posterior border of the lacrimal bone and this border articulates with the anterior border of the orbital plate of the ethmoid bone and this is the upper border this is the upper border or superior border that articulates with the nasal notch of the frontal bone and this is the inferior border this border in the articulated skull you see this border articulates with the medial border of the orbital surface of maxilla now come to the surfaces there are two surfaces on each bone this is lateral surface that is also called orbital surface and another one is medial surface that is also called nasal surface now this nasal surface this nasal surface you see it overlaps with the anterior surface of the labyrinth on its side and completes the wall of the anterior ethmoidal layer cells and this is the posterior inferior part of the nasal surface this area that is the posterior inferior part of the nasal surface of each lacrimal bone that forms part of the middle meters of the nose now come to the lateral surface so this is the lateral surface this is also called orbital surface and you see there is a vertical crest you see this is the vertical crest that divides this lateral surface into two parts the vertical crest is named as posterior lacrimal crest 
and it divides this surface into two parts one is anterior group part you see this is the anterior group part and next one is posterior flattened part this one is posterior flattened part This anterior group part joins with the adjacent group surface of the maxilla that is adjacent group of the frontal part of maxilla to form an fossa. You see in the articulated skull this is the posterior lacrimal crest and this is the anterior group part this group part joins with the adjacent group part of the frontal part of maxilla to form a fossa that is known as lacrimal fossa that fossa contains lacrimal sac which is continued below as the nasolacrimal duct that opens into the inferometers of the nose now when this group part is projecting below, it ends as a process that is known as descending process of the lacrimal bone. You see, this is the descending process of the lacrimal bone. This very fine process. And this process articulates with the tip of the lacrimal process of inferior nasal concha and completes the nasal lacrimal canal by articulating with its margin of the nasonacrimal group on the medial surface of the maxilla. Now, when this vertical crest that is known as posterior crest which is projected forwards as a process that is hook like process. Here you cannot see here because this process is broken. This process is called lacrimal hamulus and this lacrimal hamulus completes the upper opening of the nasolacrimal canal. Now come to the posterior flattened part. You see this is the posterior flattened part just behind the vertical crest. This posterior flattened part forms the anterior part of the medial wall of the orbit. Now, the site determination of lacrimal bone. First, you have to place this lacrimal group in front and this group is projecting below and this posterior lacrimal crest which is situated on the lateral side that is orbital surface. So by this point we can determine the side of the lacrimal bone. So this is the right lacrimal bone. Thank you.